EMR tablet is a pen-based input device that operates on the principle of electromagnetic resonance. Since Wacom invented it in the 1980s, it has been the primary tool for precise computer operations and digital drawing. Artists use such devices to create all kinds of animations, illustrations, and detailed 3D sculptures. EMR technology offers several major advantages. It can achieve micron-level precision and a refresh rates up to 200 frames per second without any additional algorithms. I've always been curious about how these devices actually work. So in this video, I'm going to introduce my fun open source product called Product Patchly. Starting from scratch, I built a fully functional graphics tablet and a pen display. Even if you don't have any electronics background, you can still enjoy the following video. Let's get started. The story begins with a timekeeping device that predates the industrial revolution, a simple pendulum. We can make it by hanging a weight at the end of a string. If I move my hand slowly, the ball would just follow my hand and move in parallel. If I move my hand quickly, the ball would just simply quivers in place and doesn't really swing. Only when we drive it at the right frequency does the ball gradually gain energy and start swinging. A pendulum can serve as a timekeeping device because the frequency is almost solely determined by the length of the string. A shorter string produces a higher frequency, a longer string produces a lower one. So, what does that have to do with EMR tablets? If we open up an electromagnetic pen, we will find two main components, an inductor and a capacitor. They form what's known as an LC resonant circuit, which is a mathematical analogy of a pendulum. It is because this type of circuit can be used to model many real-world phenomena, such as pendulums, financial markets, and car suspension systems. Scientists refer to it as an analog circuit. So how exactly does the circuit work, and why pens from different vendors are not compatible with each other? To answer those questions, I made a circuit board. This is what I call a small-scale test board. Similar to shaking the pendulum by hand, we have a transmitter circuit here that generates a signal to excite the pen's LC circuit. We also have a signal amplification and receiving circuit that filters, amplifies, detects, and integrates the signal returning from the pen. A microcontroller reads this process signal and sends it to the computer. On the oscilloscope, you can see a measured signal. Here, I'm sweeping the drive frequency from 400 kHz to 600 kHz, and the vertical axis is the integrator's output. When the pen approaches the tablet, a peak appears on the screen. This is the pen's resonant frequency. If I press down on the pen, the peak shifts to the left, much like a pendulum whose length changes with pressure. When I press a button on the pen, the position of the peak jumps, and the software inside the tablet will detect this jump and interpret it as a button being pressed. If I switch to a different vendor, both the resonance frequency and the direction of the shift would change. This is what happens all the time in an analog-based tablet. The board will actively measure the pen's resonant frequency to figure out the pressure. Because the pen itself contains only a simple resonance circuit, it's very cheap to make and very lightweight. Now we've solved the pressure sensing part. We just need to select different coils in the X and Y directions each time and measure the signal strength. From that, we can figure out the pen's position. And after a bit of refinement, we get a fully functional EMR tablet. I wasn't totally satisfied yet. I have a very cute CFRZ series laptop from Japan. I always wanted to convert it into a drawing tablet. So, I designed an improved circuit board, making it more compact. And for the coils, I used a flexible printed circuit board to create a large coil array that fits into the space behind the LCD. With a little bit of calibration, I have a working pen display. 
Let's draw something on it. Thanks for watching. This video merely covers the principles behind the earliest analog drawing tablets. Today, more and more manufacturers have shifted to digital pens, and I want to introduce that in the next video. So if you are interested, subscribe and join our Discord channel.